What's up, Pete Nation? Today we're going kayaking. So today is very exciting. Our friend has hooked us up with some kayak rentals in Newport Beach. It's gonna be amazing in the bay. Last time we did kayaks, we were in Vietnam and like, it didn't go well. <laughs> I lost my phone into the ocean and it took me like two months to get my phone back to Thailand and it was a crazy story. So hopefully nothing bad will happen on this trip, but we got 30 minutes to go to Newport, so let's get in the car. It is a beautiful day in California. We've got our boat rentals. We have two single kayaks. We're in Newport Beach. This is going to be the most magical day on the water. I already saw a dolphin out here. All right, let's do this thing. Put, no, put your shoe on. I will, I, will, I will get you in. You get me in? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you got it? Yay! Really? You look good. All right, we just dipped in the water, and it's so funny because the people behind us are like middle schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How do you camera and kayak at the same time? <laughs> How the professionals do it. Gotta get their water. The kids behind us are middle schoolers and they're like rowing, which in Texas we did not have, but I think that's so cool that they have it here. And they're like trying to figure out what all the rules for coronavirus are. So they're like, we have to disinfect our paddles after we touch them, do we wear a face shield the whole time. But they're about to get on the water with us. I hope we're fast enough that they won't like lap us. Oh, they're gonna lap us. Uh, do you know how fast those boats are? These are like little torpedoes. We're, <laughs> we're gonna, they're not gonna catch up to us, I'm confident. <laughs> Getting closer. I just heard the instructor say, Leah, come on, you're bringing down the back. And that's really funny because that's what my Leah's doing. She's way back there somewhere. I don't know where she is. Do you think you would want to be in the rowing team? If my high school had one, I think that would probably be really cool. I feel like it costs a lot. You know what I mean? Soccer's free. Field hockey, free. Minus the stick. But yeah, I think I would want to be on it. Here comes another crew, and I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there is snow on top of that mountain. I just find it so crazy that there's snow that close, and yet we are here and it's 70 degrees. Like, this is amazing. My gosh, I don't know if you guys can see in the distance. I can't even talk because I'm so excited. There is snow on the mountains and there are sailboats in the same shot. Like, where are we? How is it this warm? You see the snow? Yes, I've packed in a lot of different places. I've never been on the water seeing snow-capped mountains. It's a beaut. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's like Jake Paul's boat or something. I mean, look at this military vehicle. It's got like a fake machine gun. I hope they're fake machine guns. On the back, on either side, they got the escape boat if it capsizes. One of the hatches if it capsizes is open. I don't know if you can see, but they have the seats for like a jet plane on there. I, it can't be going that fast. There's no way. Those seats are crazy. What am I looking at? Nice. 
think we found some dolphins. All of a sudden I heard like <sighs> behind me and I was like, uh, and I saw like big ripples. I was like, uh oh, they're gonna be here. And they're curious about you most of the time. So I don't think it's uncommon for them to like come up next to your kayak. And so I was like, Zach, <laughs> what? They like surfaced maybe three more times, but they're like heading out. That was really cool. But yeah. Ah, we found the dolphins. Let's keep going. So just across these houses in the road is the beach. Like this marina is so big. We've been in here for like an hour. And now we're going in between the boats. It's such a unique community because you have all these houses, but you also have a bunch of people living on boats that are like getting their groceries delivered on boats. Like all these little boats are coming with like groceries and repairs. And it's just really interesting because like, we don't have this in Texas. There's not a bunch of sailboats just sitting in a bay right next to the beach. Like this is truly unique. Like this is crazy. I, I don't even know what it'd be like to live on a boat here, but I kind of want to know. Also like what address do you deliver? food to a boat. What address are you delivering food to? Like you're on a boat in the middle of the water. Is this, just look for the big black boat with a sail on it? Because there's like a million of those. I wonder how this works. <laughs> Seriously you guys, there's a lot of traffic out here. And like this is, I've never kayaked in a marina. So like this is like a different type of beautiful. You know, there's like palm trees in the distance. And it's like all these different types of boats. There's people on the water and there's sailboats and the water's beautiful and there are dolphins around and there's mountains in the background. And this is just like a really like unique experience that I didn't think, I don't know, that like I wouldn't expect from kayaking. You know, like when you think of kayaking, you're like, we're gonna be in nature and like we're not gonna run into anyone. And there's literally so many people around. This is just like a completely different experience than anything I've ever had. some current that was so hard <laughs> like in a few minutes my arms are gonna be complete jello like i'm gonna be dead today Whoa. Whew, that was so good i am so relaxed like it's colder out of the water than it is in the water that was true i i was like very prepared for it to be super cold but it was so nice i am so exhausted right now like that was the most arm workout like the biggest arm workout i will get in a year's time that was really hard. <laughs> That was the first in and out I've ever been to that didn't have a drive through I feel like this is right of pass. Why is it taking us so long to eat these? Well, because we just spent three hours kayaking, uh -huh. got my arm workout for the entire year. Mm. I feel like we deserve it. Mm. I don't feel hungry even talking more. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I could have had a bigger breakfast. Mm -mm. I had one of these mm -mm. Mm -mm. and it was only one o'clock. Ah, oh, it's so cool to see like all the locals and the grandmas, mm -hmm. you know, like this is what we normally do on a Saturday. Well, I wish it was what we normally do on a Saturday. Oh, I know. Mm. Mm. The bun is good. The burger, I can't tell the difference between any other kind of like oh, patty. Oh, the patty patty. The onion's good. The lettuce is good. The tomatoes, normal. It's the sauce. It does sauce. It's the freshness. Definitely the freshness. When you like get a Whopper, it's just gonna come with like one little piece of lettuce. This is like yeah. 18 pieces of lettuce, really thick slices of tomato, and we get it with onions, so really thick, thick mm. slices of onions too. So good. But like, it's the sauce though. Really? Yeah. I think it's the freshness. Like In-N-Out is a place that you just have to come to when you're in California. And we were just having this like discussion this morning. I thought In-N-Out had pretty much crossed the entire United States. And that is not the case. There happened to be one down the road from us in Texas. That's what made her start thinking that way. Mm -hmm. It seemed very accessible. Mm -hmm. Even though when the first one got to Texas, everyone was like freaking out. Mm. 
This might be the best double double I've ever had. Same, but I'm really hungry. Me too. It seems a lot more salty. Yeah. Like you can taste, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This tastes really good. I'm so full now, it's weird. I normally can eat like two or three or four. My max is three. I've never actually had four. But that was so good. Thank you guys for watching today. It was amazing. I think my favorite part was when we got to the wide open part of the bay yeah. and you could see the mountains. And that was just... It was like the perfect like California day. Southern California. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And now we're going in between the... Whew. Whew, that was... Sorry. Whew, that was, this is a blooper by the way. This is all the things that we have to do to get Leah ready to talk on camera. Ah! So just so you know. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. It's the same thing. Hey, I'm twice this your size. This cheese tastes really good. I'm twice your size. No. Don't take a lot.